once again welcome to my oidis channel today i came with uh, one crucial role play card so by this um, role play card itself you can see that it is very much uh, difficult to uh, present because you can see that there are many uh, sub task and uh, the time will be difficult to manage so anyway we will see how to uh, do the presentation uh, as well as it is another one more uh, important thing this is a second uh, degree role play card and you are talking to the patient's um, son or daughter and uh, this is happening in hospital outpatient clinic patient has undergone the surgery as well as she has dementia so many things are there but you are talking regarding the post operative uh, home care anyway we will see the scenario so first you have to see the setting it is a hospital outpatient clinic and you see the son or daughter and main carer of a 75 years old woman his or her mother has dementia and has recently had a cholecystectomy surgery to remove the gallbladder and is now being discharged but you are not in the ward you are in the clinic you are discussing the aftercare that is required his or her mother is not present so the important thing you have to note it here mother is not present during the conversation so it is out of ward so uh, you have to um, find out mother's name as well as um, the uh, the son or daughter's name so first thing is the confirm the first task is confirm reason for son or daughter's appointment information about mother's after care and post discharge second task is find out about mother's living arrangement so there there are two tasks so how we can start here and it is outpatient clinic so of course you have to start with your self introduction it is not a non scenario so you can start like this good morning my name is rishmi rajan one of your registered nurses working in this hospital outpatient clinic how may i address you and how can you help you today then the son will give you the answer good morning sister my name is peter and actually i came here to get some information regarding my mother's after care um, at home then for the confirmation we have to get the name can uh, tell like this uh, okay mr peter i am glad to give you information but before proceeding further may i ask you may i know your uh, mother's name then she will give uh, you the name is maria we can tell that from my sister i can see that uh, recently she has undergone cholecystectomy surgery and she has dementia isn't it and you are here to get some information regarding her post discharge information am i correct like that we can ask then the next point is find out about mother's living arrangement then we can ask like this for my better understanding mr peter could you please explain me uh, how uh, how is your mother's living arrangement then the son's uh, explanation is actually she lives alone in her apartment but now after surgery i will get her to my home because nobody is there to take care of her then we can tell that oh well uh, i am appreciating your willingness to get your mother Uh, to take care at a home and i would like to explain you the benefits of living with the family because um, it will give it will give her the practical and emotional support moreover she can interact socially if she is in your home isn't it then explore uh, the next uh, question is explore son or daughter's view of mother's recovery so far regarding physical strength energy and mood so this is one question explore means you have to ask some question you can ask Mr Peter I would like to ask you according to your view how is your mother's recovery so far regarding the physical strength energy and the mood then the son will give you the answer so it's actually i can see that uh, she her physical strength energy mood everything is low so i expect two more days of hospitalization and then we can tell that um yes i can truly understand your uh, concern uh, but according to the case not i can tell you that according to the age uh, the recovery process will be delayed uh, for some patients it can be some patients require some more um, extended days that means extended days for hospitalization but for your mother she has no infection and um, she has improved she has improved her appetite and there are only minor discomfort she has right now therefore your uh, mother's doctor has decided her to discharge at home are you getting my point like that we can ask then the next task is explain mother's wound care like cleaning daily keeping covered soluble stitches disappear in 2 to 3 weeks outline medication or antibiotics for 5 days pain relief as required then laxative twice daily unless tool is loose and uh, describe restrictions also no lifting gentle exercise small frequent meals like that so 
this is a large uh, task you have to explain many things so how we can present now we can tell that well uh, mr um, theater thank you for your um, answering uh, now i would uh, uh, i will explain you regarding her own care at home may i proceed with that don't ask shall i proceed always use the term may i okay this is polite word we can tell that and don't tell that she has to do you have to give you need to give no you should not use these things and all this is like a demanding words what we can do you can use Please, or it is advisable for her. It is essential for her. It is important for her. Like that, you can remember the recommendation paragraph of your OIT letter. So how we can present? Um, uh, it is essential for your mother to clean your clean her wound daily, as well as keep her wound covered. And uh, regarding her stitches, which will disappear in two to three weeks. And regarding her medication, please provide her oral antibiotics for five days for pain relief as required uh, as per the prescription. And there, there will be laxative twice daily unless her stool is loose. Uh, so these are all the medications which will be uh, provided uh, with you during her discharge today. And another one more thing I would like to uh, stress, I would like to explain you regarding some restrictions. That means uh, please try to avoid um, heavy lifting, um, heavy li lifting or any uh, strenuous activities by, uh, by herself. So please have a uh, look on her. Um, moreover, uh, I can tell you that, but she can do gentle exercises as well as please provide her small and frequent meals. How does that sound like that we can ask or else you can just split it into two when you can explain regarding her medication completely then you can ask are you getting my point mm -hmm. then next thing you can uh, explain regarding her restrictions like that also you can explain then at last we can ask are you getting my point or is it clear with me uh, Peter then uh, the son's answer will be uh, sister I can understand everything but um, I don't know whether I will forget everything after going home. Then we can tell uh, your question is really reasonable, but no need to worry, Mr. Peter. Upon her discharge, we will provide you post-discharge information. So it is known as discharge pack in which every information has been provided in, in detail. So you will not get any confusion even regarding her medications, which will be written very clearly and regarding her restrictions, exercises, everything will be there, even the follow-up um, appointment also. So how does that sound? Like that we can ask. Another one more task is there, outline further support available, like community nurse, mothers, doctor, etc. So we can tell like that. Mr. Peter, I would like to explain you another one more important thing. Uh, during a uh, home stay, if you need anything for her, if she develops any complications or if you need any assistance for her, of course, you can contact with your uh, mother's doctor or community nurse. So they will come and they will uh, provide you the um, adequate information regarding your mother's care. So are you okay with that? Like that we can ask. Then the conclusion will be, uh, I hope I have clarified all your doubts. Do you, do you have any more clarifications to be uh, answered? Then uh, if there is no more uh, questions, you can conclude. Okay, Mr. Peter, uh, thank you for your, um, thank you for your, um, here we can tell that. Uh, thank you for accepting all my advices for your mother. I hope if you follow all my advices, your mother will get well. Very soon she will get a uh, speedy recovery. And meanwhile, if you need any assistance or if you need any help, please do not hesitate to contact with us. This is our contact number. Thank you. Uh, that's enough. Or else you can just uh, tell that I wish her speedy recovery. Many students used to tell that I wish you a speedy recovery for your mother no need actually uh, this is like like indirectly way indirect way we are wishing no need you can just simple way you can tell that i wish her speedy recovery that's enough so i hope it is clear for you so in such uh, scenarios one thing it is very large topic another one thing you are talking to a um, bystander i mean the to the uh, son or daughter so it's a second degree talk everywhere keep it in your mind to use she this is female mother it is it is mother so gender change should not be there and name changes also should not be there because they will reduce your mark. So take care when you are speaking uh, to a second person. Always try to write uh, to the listener, listener's name in big letters and uh, patient's name uh, you can write in a small letter because you will use patient's name only once or twice but you will use uh, the listener name many times.
So you can do like that so that you can avoid uh, the mistake during the conversation. I hope this is beneficial for you with another one informative video. We will meet again. Until then, bye. Take care.